A photo shoot with a rather unconventional model, a Holstein cow. The team's trying to get her to change her expression. That's proving quite a challenge. The cow's name is Africa, although she's German, and she's won a ribbon at this bovine beauty contest. To prepare for it, her owner put Africa on a special diet. She spent three weeks getting into shape on a cattle breeding farm. Normally cattle are fed silage, but the switch to hay gives the cow broad ribs and a lot of body depth. The hay is vital because of the roughage which enables us to alter the cow's silhouette. Backstage, Steve McLaughlin is busy brushing out any blemishes. Just like at human beauty pageants, professional stylists have been flown in from around the world. In his case, from Ireland. Also, the gel has to highlight it, or so when it's in the ring, it looks more natural and bloom, so the judge can see it better. The teams have just a few more minutes until their prized specimens hit the runway. Over 100 cattle breeders have descended on Verden in northern Germany for this annual extravaganza. So who is the fairest cow in the land? The jury examines factors such as build, longevity and milk output. And there are a range of prizes up for grabs. This breeder is among the winners. So what are the crucial criteria for her? A good body, a lot of depth in the belly and the ribs so that she can take in a lot of food. Another important aspect is the udder. It needs to be very firm and some distance above the ankle. And the cow ought to be able to produce a lot of milk for a long time. The contest is as much about money as good looks. The cows are also tuned to maximize output. This variety can produce 40 liters of milk per day, so its build has to withstand the strain of the huge udder. And the animal should also live long, healthy lives. Rearing costs are very high, between 1,500 and 2,000 euros, before they've even calved for the first time. It's only then that we start making money from them, from selling the milk and sometimes their offspring. Over 200 cows will be strutting around the arena, and not only livestock fans are here in the audience. What the farmers and above all breeders here also want to know is which bulls sired the best cows on show here. This man is both a fan and a breeder. I've got about 10 cows. So you breed them all yourself, huh? Are 10 enough to live off? No, it's a hobby. My day job's animal keeper at a zoo. The cows are my hobby. It's lovely to see the emotions involved and how lovingly they handle the cows. It's a special feeling. Great atmosphere, beautiful cows. That's why we come here, right? The cows can't afford to be camera shy on this kind of stage. Some of the handlers say their charges actually revel in the privileged attention they enjoy back on the farm. She tweaks her ears forward when she wants to listen in, like right now. She thinks she's a star now. And in the cow shed, she gets very affectionate. She'll always come right over to you to get a cuddle. Many of the entrants have won prizes before. So which bovine beauty will be crowned Miss Holstein this time? The best of her breed. It's an emotional moment. Why is this champion breeder so worked up? Because the cow performs so well every year. You're a multiple winner, right? Four times. And do you have an emotional connection? It's indescribable. We've had her for five years now. Lady Gaga has triumphed yet again. A ripe old 11 years of age, mother of seven, and utterly gorgeous.